Today, I'm back with another mega physical media topic video for you all. Today, I'm going to be answering the important physical media topic question. Should you be destroying all Blu-rays in your physical media collection immediately and just focusing on collecting 4Ks right now? And this will be a part one. So to answer this important question, we're going to break up this video into three different segments. First, we're going to answer how many movies actually make it to the 4K format. Secondly, we're going to answer are 4K transfers even the best. And then thirdly, we're going to answer are 4Ks always the best additions. And then ultimately deciding should we be holding on to our Blu-rays or be getting rid of them and going just for the 4Ks. But before we get into all that, if you're just discovering the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this amazing mega fan community, make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Well, we're waiting. Now to get into my very first point, and that's the very fact that a lot of movies will not make it to the 4K format. They won't get the ultra high definition. No matter how much we want it as hardcore collectors, it just isn't going to happen because it just isn't a market out there for that. Let's take a look at the data, the statistics. I'm going to bring up a chart here and let's see what this most people are buying we can see that most people are actually buying dvd still the majority of people over 70 percent are still getting dvds so that means companies are more likely to manufacture and produce dvds because that's what people are buying that's how people are voting with their dollar they are spending their money on collecting DVDs. So companies are gonna make more of that. We then go to Blu-rays. We're not even at 25% of the market getting Blu-rays. That's even less collectors going for Blu-rays. You think if they're not even going for Blu-rays, they're more likely to go for 4Ks? No, look at that 4K small percentage number there, under 5% of the market being 4Ks. Most people are not buying 4Ks. I know that's sometimes hard for us to wrap our mind about as collectors because a lot of us, we love 4K so much. We want everything in that ultra high definition format. But the sad fact is not everybody collects 4Ks. Maybe you do, maybe I do, but doesn't mean everybody does. We got to look at this chart of information. So if most people aren't getting 4Ks, are they going to most likely get things transferred into 4K? No, because there's not a market for it. It does not make a business sense to do so. It's business 101. You got to make what people are wanting to buy and what majority of people are wanting to buy. So unfortunately, just not everything is going to get the 4K. Let's look at the stack of movies I have and decide, do we think this is ever going to get the 4K? 12 Angry Men, I'll say that's a maybe, the 4K, but I still don't think so. Next, bringing a baby, a classic comedy, no way, do not think this is ever going to get to the 4K format. Next, Punch Drunk Love, an Adam Sandler dark comedy, really don't think this one is going to get to the 4K format. Next, we have The Game, a suspense thriller, no don't think this one's getting to 4K at all. And then The Weatherman, a recent Blu-ray I just picked up. It just got to the Blu-ray format. It was on DVD for the longest time, not even on Blu-ray. You think this movie's going to ever go to 4K? No, no, no. Highly doubt it. I just don't think it's going to happen. So once again, majority of movies aren't going to get to the 4K format. So if you're just hoping one of your favorite movies is going to get to a 4K format. You may be just hoping for a long, long time and may not ever get that movie on that ultra high definition format. You might as well have just picked up the DVD or the Blu-ray to enjoy your movie while you can. You got to enjoy the movies right away. So I suggest pick it up on the format that's available now. And then in the future, if it does come out in ultra high definition 4K and you really love the movie, then okay, at that point, double dip and upgrade on it. Because once again, it just may not ever get there. So you can hope for it, 
but your hope may not lead you there. So at least have the movie on a Blu-ray DVD that you can enjoy right now. Because I'm telling you, it just may not get the 4K. Now, if you know the movie's already confirmed and announced for 4K, now that's different because you know it's officially going to be happening, then okay, you may want to hold off on getting a Blu-ray because you already know it's going to 4K. You might just be saving your money for the 4K. Now that strategy makes sense. That works. That's perfectly okay to do. But if a movie is not announced yet in 4K, then why are we waiting here, community? Now, if we know there's a 4K transfer out there, once again, that's a different story. If there's already a 4K transfer done, company's already done that, most likely it's going to get to the 4K disc. Now, not always, but most likely it will at that point. But that's a different story. We have the announcement, the news, that the 4K transfer is done. But once again, if it's not announced that a 4K is officially coming out, and it's not even a 4K transfer done yet of the movie, why as a community are we holding off and just crossing our fingers and hoping, oh, I love this movie so much, I want it in the best format possible. Yeah, you do, I get that, but it may never get to that format. You might as well in the meantime, pick up on the Blu-ray, pick up on the DVD, so you have it in your collection at home to enjoy forever, just in case the high likely chance and never gets to the 4K ultra high definition format. At least you still have it on Blu-ray and high definition. That's something, that's still something for you to enjoy. The movie's still the same, even though the image and audio may not be as sharp and clean. You still at least have the movie to enjoy. So I'd rather you have the movie in your collection to enjoy on a Blu-ray and DVD than just be waiting and hoping for a 4K that may never happen because once again, the stats show, the data shows that most likely it's not going to get the 4K. The market's not all in on 4Ks. Maybe you are, maybe I am, but not everybody is. So it just may happen. So go and, you know, think about it. Do you really want to wait for it to possibly get the 4K? Oh, come on, do it. Do it! Come on, come on! Now to get into my second major point here, and that's the very fact that not all 4K transfers are the best. Just because it's 4K ultra high definition, it doesn't mean it's the best visual representation of the movie. Something could have gone wrong when they were transferring it to the 4K disc, and actually the Blu-ray might be better than the 4K version of a movie. I know sometimes as collectors, we don't wanna believe it. When we see 4K ultra high definition on that packaging, we automatically assume, oh, this is the best visual quality we can get for a movie. And a lot of times it is the best visual quality, but not always, unfortunately. It all depends on the work, the time, the effort the studios put in the transferring it to a 4K disc, because sometimes, Things can just go wrong. There's a lot of examples. We got Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This is definitely considered by most of the community to not be a good 4K transfer. There's just things wrong with the visual image in terms of how the coloring comes off. It just doesn't look the best. So actually, a lot of people will argue the Blu-ray disc of Terminator 2 Judgment Day is a lot better than the 4K disc. How can that be, though? It says 4K ultra high definition. Some people may just expect, oh, this is going to be the best one out there. It's 4K. No, that is not the case. Actually, the Blu-ray of this one is a better transfer. And so we can't definitively say, Oh, 4K is always the best representation visually of a movie. That way we can always get rid of our old Blu-rays and just get the new 4K upgrade. Sometimes it's not really an upgrade. Here is another example in my personal collection. Pan's Labyrinth Criterion Copy to me is the best dish you can get at Pan's Labyrinth. Even though there's a 4K out there, to me, I did the research beforehand because I knew there was two different versions out there. I had to decide, was I going to get the Blu-ray Criterion or the 4K? And through all my research, the community mostly said, let's go with the Criterion Blu-ray. It just looks a lot better. And I want to see these fantastical images of all these creatures in the best visual representation possible. And 
this just came out better, this Blu-ray disc. And this isn't 4K, this is not ultra high definition, this is a Blu-ray, but this came out better. Apparently they put more time and effort in overseeing the transfer here. Grandma Del Toro had a lot of input into how this movie got transferred over. And so that sometimes just makes all the difference. It's the director looking at how this movie is transferred, who's giving input on the transfer work, or is there not really much input or effort put into it, right? Overseeing that could make all the difference too on whether a transfer comes out properly. And so some 4K transfers, they just don't make the time and effort to really look that it is transferred properly. Sometimes they don't even get the director's input. It happens all the time. So this is just another example of where a Blu-ray is actually the better definitive edition of a movie rather than the 4K. Even though there is a 4K of Pan's Labyrinth, I still prefer the Blu-ray Criterion. So that's just one example. But there's so many examples out there of recent people buying 4K discs, and actually the 4K disc transfers just don't come in the best. And also, there's actually problems with the discs themselves. There's skipping scenes, there's repeating scenes, there's scenes missing. The 4K disc, even though it is on a 4K disc, you think, all oh, 4K is going to be awesome. If they don't put the desk together properly, then it's not going to look good. Anyway, there could be issues with 4K discs. We saw this happen once again with so many movies of recent days like Citizen Kane on 4K. There was issues with that disc. People had to destroy it and then send to get a new one. And so just because it comes out on 4K doesn't mean it's going to come out properly. Doesn't mean it's going to come out the best. And doesn't mean it's going to even be the best visual representation of a movie. The Blu-ray still might be the better buy, the better visual representation. They actually might be even cheaper than a 4K. Okay, so it may be better just to go with the Blu-ray because of the transfer work. So I would not be getting rid of your Blu-rays right now. Even if there is a 4K version out there, you may have the 4K. You may plan on getting the 4K. I still would be careful until you can compare them side by side. Then, okay, if you compare them side by side, 4K is better, then okay, you're okay to get rid of the Blu-ray. But you might find when you compare them, oh no, the Blu-ray one is better. I should definitely hold on to my Blu-ray disc. So it's just something we have to think about as a physical media collecting community. Put the gun down. I saw you with the box. Who's in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the box? Now to get into my third major point, and that's that there are Blu-ray collection box set editions out there that are the definitive best editions we're ever going to get. They're not going to get these editions onto the 4K format. Just to show some examples here, we have the Blu-ray collection from Screen Factory of the Friday the 13th collection. Now this is the definitive edition here. This has all the Friday the 13th movies on Blu-ray, including Freddy vs. Jason. Tons of extra bonus special features. I mean, Screen Factory did a wonderful job with these Blu-rays. These are not 4Ks. And do we think these are gonna get the 4Ks? No, probably not. That's why Screen Factory released it on Blu-ray because there's more of a market for Blu-ray collectors out there. Not as many people would have gotten the set if it was more expensive in 4Ks. It just would have been such a niche market that Screen Factory didn't do that. That's why they chose to go with the Blu-ray box set. But this is such a good box set. I mean, look at everything in here. All the artwork, it's just so fantastically done. Look at all the time and care that was put into this deluxe edition. I mean, this is the best we're ever going to get of all the Friday the 13th movies together. I mean, just everything it's just so well done in the set that why would we wait on this as a community? Let this pass by in hopes that all these are going to get to the 4K format. No, most of them won't get to the 4K format. Now, some of them will. The original, yeah, is going to get the 4K format, and that's fantastic for us. But is every single one in the collection getting the 4K? No, I highly doubt it, and definitely not anytime soon. I mean, Screen Factory just recently released this box set. You think they're now going to put it on 4Ks? There's a slight chance, but I really highly doubt it. I just don't think there's a big enough market for it. So why would we let this really good 
edition of a collector's box set pass in hopes that we'll get these all in 4K someday. I just don't think that's the right strategy to utilize. And there's so many examples out there. You look at this Alfred Hitchcock collection, the ultimate collection on Blu-ray. This is a fantastic collection here. Once again, all the artwork designs really cool and you get so much in this box set. You get the best of Alfred Hitchcock, 15 movies, 10 TV episodes, over 15 hours of bonus features, and a booklet. I mean, this is an amazing box set if you're a big Alfred Hitchcock fan. Now, do we think we're going to get all 15 of these movies on 4K? I doubt it. Yeah, we've gotten Alfred Hitchcock movies to 4K. I do have some of them. But do we think all these movies are going to get the 4K? I don't think so. I don't think there's a market out there for it. Now, it's a possibility. Maybe we will get them. There's always a chance. But I just don't think it's likely on those collection box sets. And to me, those are really good additions of the movie. The Blu-rays still work really well. They still look really nice. And to me, there's just so much contained in those collector box sets. Bonus features, booklets you name it, these box sets have it. So oftentimes the definitive edition, the best edition you're gonna get is gonna be on the Blu-ray format. A lot of times they won't do a big giant 4K box set of these movies. They'll do individual 4K releases or maybe a handful, but they usually don't do a whole giant franchise together all in 4Ks in a really, really nice special box set like this. Yeah, you can get all the 4K discs together, but they're usually not in the best looking collection box set out there. I mean, these are really nice looking collector's box sets, especially the Scream Factory one of Friday the 13th. I can't say how much that one is just so amazing on the shelf. So if you want the best editions of certain movies, of certain franchises together, then sometimes you gotta go when they got the Blu-rays. You just gotta pick them up. Don't wait and just wait and hope they're gonna get to the 4K because most likely, once again, we already looked at the data, it just most likely won't happen, unfortunately. So if you got a good collector's box set out there right now of it, you might as well pick it up. You might as well support it because that's probably the best edition you are going to get. So don't let these good collector special edition box sets pass you by. So you're telling me there's a chance. Now, ultimately, we got to decide, do we destroy all our Blu-rays, get rid of them, sell them, stop paying attention to them, and only focus on 4Ks from now? Answer is no, absolutely not. Keep those Blu-rays safe, keep them protected, keep them in your collection if they're your favorite movies because we discussed so many reasons why those Blu-rays are still valuable. Remember, a lot of those Blu-rays are never going to make it to the 4K format, so I'd rather you have them at least on Blu-ray or even DVD. They haven't gotten the Blu-ray yet. Also, remember, even if they do get a 4K transfer, doesn't mean the 4K transfer will automatically be better. We've seen many examples where the Blu-ray transfer is actually better. Also, if you want the best special editions and collection box sets out there, a lot of times that's on the Blu-ray format. Sometimes they won't give you that 4K collection on a nice box set in the future. Sometimes the best edition, the definitive edition, is only on Blu-ray, so you might as well pick it up and enjoy it, watch it, and have it in your collection because it just may not go the way of the 4K path. So what we got to do as a community is to carry on with collecting Blu-rays among 4Ks and DVDs, but don't give up on Blu-rays yet just for 4Ks. Party on, dudes! So leave in the comments below, do you still collect Blu-rays or DVDs and why you still collect them? Let's have those fun movie discussions down below. And if you like this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. Also like the video, and this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.